Hey everybody, how's it going? It's William with Copper Jacket TV, and well, the CLP that you're using sucks. Let's talk about what's good. Let's get to it. Okay, so let's go and talk about this. I know it's not a really exciting topic, but I think it's an important topic, and sometimes it's not all about how many views a video can get by doing something crazy. Sometimes it's about giving people good information. If only the people that watch this video are people that are interested in this topic and it gets low views, I don't care. Hopefully it helps people out there who are looking for something good, especially people who are kind of new to this, who are looking for something good. Now, the reason that I say your CLP sucks is because I was using a lot of the same major brand CLPs out there that uh, probably most of you are still using to this day. And I thought it was fine at the time that I was using it. I thought it was fine until I went on to Amazon and I bought this right here. I bought it because it came in a four pack. They look like huge bottles and I wanted to try something different. That's pretty much it. It's not a sponsored video. Not, you know, getting any money from anybody on this or anything like that. You know, I just went on there and saw this four pack for sale of this Lucas uh, Extreme Duty CLP. And I thought I would pick it up. After trying this, I realized that those other CLPs sucked. Period. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about this and, and why I use it. So. I liked the other CLPs that I was using. So like Breakthrough Clean and stuff like that, you know, their oils, cleaners and different things, you know, and, and some of the other major brands that you're gonna find at your local shop and stuff. Uh, and I thought that they were fine, but one of the issues that I had was they would clean and they would protect against rust and things, but they would dry out extremely fast. I'm talking super dry, like popcorn fart dry. Everything would just completely dry out and I didn't feel any lubrication after a while at all It's almost like it would just completely evaporate and I would end up with a dry BCG after a significant You know portion of time two weeks three weeks It would just be gone and that always bothered me But I just kind of went with it because it was really popular people were using it And so I thought that that was just fine This stuff right here is the first that I've used where you use it and then after a couple weeks it still feels like there's a good layer of oil there, which is obviously gonna protect the moving parts. You know, that was my big thing. Okay, well, I live in kind of a dry climate, so yeah, I wanna protect against rust, but that's not a huge issue for me. What's an issue for me is that I use my stuff a lot, and so it gets a lot of use, and they're moving parts, and I want them to have some type of lubrication. So I needed all three of these to work, clean, lubricate, and protect. And this stuff did all of that better than anything that I've used before. So the uh, Lucas Extreme Duty CLP ended up being the best. Now, this right here is a BCG uh, that I sprayed right before starting this video. So it hasn't been on there for very long at all, but I didn't want to have the camera shutter opened with the glass exposed and then be spraying this stuff if you get Trust me, if you get this stuff on glass, it's kind of hard to get off, especially when you have to kind of reach in there and get around that glass. So I went ahead and I sprayed this so I could show you guys and grab a uh, white cloth. This stuff right here eats away at carbon better than anything else I've ever used either. But one of the biggest problems that I have is when you use things a lot and maybe you skip a few cleanings like I do, uh, sometimes I'll go way too long without cleaning something, but I'll skip some cleanings. The carbon will get really bad. This one's not too bad, but uh, you know, I'll skip it. Carbon gets bad, you spray that stuff on it, and you still really have to work into it in order to get that carbon off. With this, the carbon comes off uh, with virtually no effort whatsoever. So quick wipe down with a uh, white cloth here, perfectly clean, and it takes the carbon off. So you can see right there, just quick, it's not too bad, but we'll pick up uh, the actual carrier itself and we'll just give this a, a quick wipe down. Again, nothing too serious. We're not gonna you know, get in any ports or any small piece, pieces. You know, This one right here, as you can see, comes off. It's all black, kind of hard to see on camera. The camera tries to make everything brighter and whiter than it actually is, but there's a lot of carbon on here. And again, I could just take these pieces, wipe them down with minimal effort, which is what I'm looking for, and it takes all that carbon off. It really does break that carbon down, especially back here uh, behind your bolt itself. Uh, behind those rings, the O-rings right there, there is always a significant amount of carbon buildup. And a lot of times I gotta use, I have to use a scraper in order to get that carbon off. Well, with this stuff, even though there's still some that still needs to be scraped, for the most part, it'll take the carbon off of the back of that bolt no problem whatsoever. And uh, again, it's a minimal effort type deal. So if you're somebody who doesn't like to clean, uh, you wanna get through it pretty quick, and you don't wanna sit there and go through this you know, four step process in order to get everything looking the way that you want it, uh, this stuff works 
phenomenally well. Uh, it just gets everything nice and clean. And then once I'm done and I get everything cleaned after you know wiping it down with a rag, what I do is I just take a little bit of it and I spray it on the rag itself, just a, a small little layer. And then I just go back everything over everything and I wipe it down just to make it, uh, you know, get a little layer of that oil on there. And this is what I was doing with the other stuff as well, just get a little layer of that oil on there. And again, in uh, a couple of weeks time, there's still oil on it and it still feels like it's lubricated. So if you are somebody who's maybe new to this, um, you're looking for, you know, a good cleaner out there, you know, this is a reputable company. Obviously we know that they've been making oils and additives and things like that for a significant amount of time. So they're not like a new startup or something that's been around for 10 years. The guy's been around for decades uh, making stuff like this. So I kind of felt like I could trust it when I got on Amazon. Uh, again, if you guys are interested, I'll put a link down below. Uh, I'll see if I can find the four pack because it was really, really affordable versus some of the other stuff as well. I mean, some of these prices are ridiculous. You get like an ounce of this, an ounce of that. You know, you get like a little four ounce bottle of spray cleaner and uh, the price is, if you ask me, just way too high. But a four pack of this was pretty cheap and it works really good. So for those people, again, we're just looking for something better or you're new to this and you're not sure exactly what to use. Uh, if you want a one step process, then this is what I would use. Obviously, if you're gonna be cleaning out you know, copper and stuff like that, right? You wanna get something specific to remove copper, to m remove metals and you know, things to, to strip and actually take things down. But uh, for general purpose stuff, I, I honestly don't think after everything that I've tried and you guys have seen on this channel, I've reviewed a lot of it. I think that uh, Lucas Oil Extreme Duty CLPs the best kind of sounds like a little bit like a commercial, but I mean, you know, I'm trying to tell people what I like and what I use. Uh, I get emails about this fairly frequently. Uh, you know, Hey, what do you use to clean your stuff? And, well, it's this right here. So thanks again for watching. I do appreciate it. You guys like subscribe. Have a great day.